Here we have a 2005 Mercedes-Benz E320 Avant-Garde in a silver bronze colour is the estate. The car is in very nice condition for its age as you will see in the video. If we start with the front tyre, looking at the offside front tyre here, you've got a good amount of tread to be fair, you've got a good at least 5mm of tread, so that'll be fine. Looking at the front alloy, a um, bit of a paint bubble here, uh, which is nothing serious, some light scratches. Um, very minor scuff there on the outside and again just a bit more paint bubbling but no signs of any real curbing at all very nice condition for its age looking down the uh, off side of the vehicle uh, having a good look, can't see any signs of any damage especially any signs of no dents um, or any small dinks either other than that it's just a few light bodywork scratches to the car which would most likely polish out to be honest as they are very light uh, mirror caps are in nice condition as we have a look on the driver's door, some very light scratches down to the bottom down here. No signs of any car park chips at all on the driver's door, which is nice. Both sills are in nice condition as well, just some very little scratches. Taking a quick look at the roof, the roof appears to be in nice condition, with no signs of any damage there. Look at uh, the rear passenger door now, again just a few light marks and scratches to the paintwork, but no signs of any damage at all. If you look at the uh, offside rear, and I'd say you've got around 4mm of tread there. And then taking a look at the offside rear alloy, again very nice condition, slight uh, scuff there. A uh, few couple of scratches to the alloy, but other than that minor scuff, no signs of any curbing. And again for its age, it's in very nice condition. Making our way around to the back of the car, very long scratch here across the fuel cap, moving down to the arch. Again it is light so should probably fetch out with a good polish. Looking at the offside rear quarter here, you've got a bit of a scuff to the paintwork. But looking at the rear of the car, again nice condition to be fair, no signs of any major damage or any dents. You've got a couple of scratches to the boot lid here, a couple of light marks. And uh, if I just show you, this is where most of the damage is. As you can see on the boot, uh, the paint's cracked there. and. Uh, slightly creased in the bodywork actually that is slightly raised and of course you've got a lot of rust uh, rust there and some bubbling to the paint around this region so as you can see in this small bit here it's going to require some work let's take a look in the boot uh, owners obviously had a dog previously you see it's got a lot of air there so it's a really good valet but no signs of any damage uh, you've got a plastic tray under there as well but if we lift that up you can see you've got your spare wheel in there there you go, that's the boot. That's just the electrics there, shutting the boot. Uh, moving around to the near side, if you have a look at the near side rear tyre. And again, you've got around 4mm of tread there. And looking at the near side rear, uh, quite a bit of combing to that uh, outside edge there. And some light scuffing to the other side. So it could do for a refurb. But again, for its age, it's in nice condition overall. Now taking a look down the near side of the vehicle, um, you've got a slight um, little dent in the front passenger door, which I'll show you in a second. Um, but apart from that, again it's just bodywork scratches to be honest, um, light marks to the paint, a few on the rear passenger door there. No signs of any car park chips uh, on the front passenger, um, except the plastic there, or well, the chrome, sorry, has come. It's slightly loose, but again, not a massive problem at all. And then taking the uh, front door here. Um, I don't know if it's a dent actually. You've got a slight scuff here to the paintwork. Um, I think it's just a light to be honest. Yes it is. So no dent there actually. It's just a slight scuff to the paintwork. Again mirror caps in nice condition. And if you have a look at the near side front you've got a good 4mm of tread there. Whilst taking a look at the uh, near side front alloy Again, some uh, minor scuffs around the outside edges. Um, so maybe the two near side front and rears could do with a refurb. Making our way around to the front, we'll take a look at the bonnet. Uh, you've got a few stone chips on the paintwork to be fair. That would just require some touchings. Uh, but no signs of any major damage at all. And it's the same with the rest of the bumpers. You can see the parking sensors there. But as you can see, you've got quite a few little scratches and scuffs to the front bumper there. And the same with the opposite side as well. 
no signs of any major damage to any of the bumpers. There's some slight scuffs to the bottom there, and again on the rest of the bumper. If we take a look inside now, and we'll start with the rear seats. Do get full black leather, and it's perforated in the middle section, but nice condition to be honest. Uh, you've quite a lot of uh, crease in there on the far side on the holster as you can see, so just be aware of that. And a couple of marks of leather that'll probably fetch out of a good valet. But condition wise, very impressed. Back of the seats are in nice condition as well, and especially for its age, it's very nice. Let's take a look inside in the front. Now, looking at the driver's seat. Uh, again, very nice condition, slight bit of crease in there to the holster, which you would expect ever used vehicle to be honest, but as you can see, it's uh, obviously been looked after to be honest. Um, slight bit of rust into the badge there, but again, nothing serious. Carpets are in nice condition, and taking the front passenger seat as well. Very nice condition there. So nice finish overall. Steering wheel's in nice condition. So interior and exterior is in very nice condition. Step inside, you can see it's got two keys. And if we just get the car started. As you're in here, no problem starting the car at all. And looking at the mileage, 135, 176 miles on the clock. And no symbols there on the dash that you need to be aware of. Well, the function steering wheel here works perfectly fine. Looking at the controls, as you can hear, radio's working fine. You've also got your, your sat nav as well. And again, works perfectly fine. So as you can see, everything works perfectly well. And you've also got your heated seats. So you can see the light indicating there that it is functioning well. as driver and front passenger. Automatic transmission, and also your parking sensors there. Taking a quick look at the documents now. We'll have a look at the V5, the car's had two owners. It does come with an MOT certificate, which ends February 17th, 2014. And then we do get full partially franchised service history. Uh, there's loads of service history of the car, so feel free to pause it any time to have a better look. First one there at 15 and a half, second at 29 and a half, 38882, 49 you've got 79373. 89 there, 101, uh, 109, and that's your last service there, 120,000 miles. So plenty of service history of the vehicle. But there we go, that is the 2005 Mercedes-Benz E320 CDI Avant Garde Estate. And for a car of this age, I have to say it's in very nice condition.